Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Dear students, after a long time I am here with a new video as the title shows here In this video I will discuss only the basic concept of the chapter statistics This video is specially meant for the students of 10th standard of NCERT syllabus but it can also help the other lower classes where the statistics is there and it may also help the CBSC and IC student, ICS students also so here first let us know that what is statistics you can see here statistics is the branch of mathematics which it deals with the collection of data then organizing it or arranging it then analyzing the entire data and then interpreting the result and finally giving the conclusion this is generally called as statistics in our daily life we are seeing that uh, for example in the school or in a class the number of students then we are categorizing number of boys and girls and sometimes as per the departmental instruction we are giving the record as per the uh, religion or caste like uh, Muslim or Hindu or OBC or SC or SP like that so this type of organization is coming under this particular chapter status today in this video we are going to discuss the three central tendency of the chapter statistics as you are seeing here mean the median and the mode so first of all we'll try that what is mean as you are seeing here the mean is nothing but the average of a particular data or the information data is nothing but a particular information so that is the average of the data or average of the information is called as the mean so this one mean is also called as the average so as you have seen these are the weights of five different students okay and we need to find out the mean of this so mean is mean can be calculated so we can say mean is equal to sum of all the data divided by number of data so when we are talking the sum of all the data that means we need to add all these values here as I am saying 35 plus 45 plus 40 plus 38 plus 42 whole divided by the number of data you are seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 data are there so that we have to divide it by 5 and as we are going to add it 35 plus 45 is 80 plus 40 is 120 and 120 plus 80 is 200 so I have to divide it 200 by 5 so I am getting here 40 so I can say the mean of this particular given data is 40 what is the mean that means just try to understand it if five different students are there with five different weight we are going to find the average means if suppose by any means we'll take all those weights and we'll distribute equally among all the five then what will be the score of it, uh, sorry weight of each student so if we will by any means suppose we are taking all the scores and we are distributing equally among all so each student will have 40 kg this particular concept is called as mean now we are going to learn the next concept that is called as the median and median is nothing but middle most number of a particular data when it is arranged in an order the order can be either ascending or descending so we have to find out the middle number or the middle most number that is called as the median for example 
this is the question that find the median of the data 15, 8, 11, 6, 9, 13 and 10. So we can simplify it in this way. First what to do? We have to arrange this data either in ascending or in descending order. So I am going to show you here by arranging it in ascending order. So I can say by arranging the data in ascending order what we are getting we are writing it 8 9 10 11 oh sorry before that so uh, data in ascending order we can arrange it 6 8 9 10 11 13 and 15. Just first work is to arrange it in an order. And after arrange the arrangement, we are seeing here that totally 7 numbers are there or 7 different values are there. And out of that, we have to find or we have to search that which is the central number. And we found that 10 is here which is at the center leaving 3, 3 numbers on either side. And now we can say, therefore, the median is equal to 10. So this is actually very easy to find out when we have odd number of data. So very easily we can find the middlemost number which will be called as the median. But what if the data is having even number of information. As I told you, what if the data is having even number of uh, information? So just see this example here, find the median of the data 31, 16, 22, 19, 17 and 36. So as I told in uh, earlier that we can arrange in any of the order either ascending or descending. So for this particular question I have taken that arranging the data in descending order. So when we are going to arrange in descending order so first we can say here 36 and then the next number will be 31 and the next number is 22 and the next one is 19 and after that 17 and finally we can write 16 here so uh, after arranging we are seeing that this particular question is having six data six informations or six values or six numbers so we cannot find the middlemost number. So there is a process for whenever even number of data are there, we have to take both the middle numbers leaving two or equal numbers on either side. And we cannot write median is 22 and 19. We cannot say that. We have to take the average of this score. So we can say here now median is equal to 22 plus 19 divided by 2. We have to take the average. So two numbers, we have taken the total as we have done or earlier in mean. We are adding the numbers, dividing by the number of data. So sum of the data and dividing by the number of data. So sum of the data divided by two numbers, so divided by two. That is called as the average of these two numbers. And when we are adding it 22 and plus 19, we are getting 41 divided by 2. And if we will divide it or cancel it, we will get the answer as 20 plus 5 so that we can say now therefore the median is equal to 20.5 hope all of you have understood it and now we have to go for the next concept so the next concept that we are going to learn is mode mode is nothing but the number which occurs most of the time or most often in a particular data. The number which occurs most of the time or most often in a particular data is called as the mode of that particular data. So here this is the very simple one. Suppose we will take this question here. So as if you observe in here 
and the question I have told about the mode is nothing but the information or the data which occurs most of the time or more number of times. So if you see it here, the number 11 is present here most of the time. 1, 2, 3, 4. So no other number is repeated four times in a particular data. So here no need to do anything, just we can write simply here mode is equal to 11. And why mode is 11? Because it is repeated most number of times. Okay, this is one scenario, one situation where we got 11 occurs four times. But what if a number or two different numbers or three different numbers are present in a data for the same number of times. In this question you can see the, it is saying that find the mode of the following data where are these numbers are given and it is saying us to find out the mode. In the previous question we found on sing, one single number 11 was repeated again and again and you know that 11 is the mode. But here if you observe this entire question you will get that 34 is repeated twice. So directly I can write 34. But the problem is that another number, 45, is also repeated twice. And all the remaining numbers are repeated here only for one time. So that I can say here now, mode is equal to 34 and 45. So both the numbers to be considered as the mode. I hope that it is cleared and all of you have understood this is the beginning part or the basic concept of what is mean what is median and what is mode in my next video i'll come with the concept of 10th standard syllabus of ncert where we'll discuss how to find out the mean median and mode one by one in the different videos and uh, by uh, for the group data or ungrouped data or whatever is there in that video we will discuss also about few more things what are ungrouped data what are group data what is the meaning of the word frequency what are the class intervals and everything so just wait for my next video thank you very much